eksentrik. Berada di New Jersey akan berasa banget juga berbagai hal klasik. Menyimpan banyak histori, tempat penting selama perang kemerdekaan di Amerika Serikat. Di antaranya di Princeton, berbagai jejak sejarah masih tersisa, terpelihara. Princeton sekaligus jadi tempat saya janji berjumpa seorang yang spesial, Sedaf Jeffer. Tahun 2019, Sadaf Jeffer dilantik sebagai wali kota. Istimewa, karena dia mencetak sejarah sebagai muslimah pertama yang menjabat posisi politik strategis ini. Tentu bukan mudah mendapatkannya. Jauh pula dari mudah menjalankannya. Rintangan dianggap sebagai tantangan, bukan penghalang. Muslimah satu ini tetap teguh menjalankan amanah sebagai ibadah. Pantang menyerah memperjuangkan keadilan, menyatukan perbedaan. Termasuk melawan diskriminasi ras dan agama yang tak dipungkiri masih ada. Bukan hanya politisi, Sadaf juga membagikan asa dan ilmunya sebagai pengajar di salah satu kampus ternama. Bukan cuma di Amerika, tapi juga di dunia. Wow, ma'am, so cool, your book collection. Oh, thank you. What is it all about? Well, you know, most of these are related to the courses I teach. So I teach courses on Islam in South Asia, the literature and film, and South Asian American literature and film. So, yes, well, I mean, from this university, and students come to meet me in my office hours, but I usually teach my courses in one of the lecture halls or seminar rooms. Oh, my sure, you're so cool, yeah. ma'am. Oh, thank you. Thank so you. what's your inner driver to achieve all of your right. achievement yeah. in education? Well, I, I think, you know, education is something that most of us crave. We want to learn more about the world just as human beings. And I've been very lucky that I've had the opportunity to pursue these educational opportunities. And I wanted to learn about the world around me. And I wanted to understand what it meant to be a Muslim in the modern world, historically, because there's so many stereotypes. And so when I went to college, I actually thought I wanted to go into diplomacy because I thought I'm always bridging two cultures between my family's culture and American culture. But then I became very interested in my studies about Islamic history and Islamic literature because it was so different than what I thought it was going to be. And there were so many different varieties, so many different topics that were addressed. And I wanted to be a part of helping teach that to students, especially when it comes to South Asia, because most people don't realize that the region with the most Muslims in the world is actually South Asia. Uh, they always think maybe it's the Middle East or something. So I think that that's important, and I like to teach through literature and the arts, because again, people have these stereotypes that Islam is just about rules. You know, you can do this, you can't do this. But it doesn't think about the complexity, the beauty of the literature and art, and how, you, how it connects to the human experience. So that's what I try to teach in my courses. Sayangnya di hari yang hujan ini, kebersamaan di sini harus terhenti sampai sini. Karena muslimah dengan banyak aktivitas satu ini ada janji lainnya nih. Kita terus ikut serta pastinya. Aktivitas berikutnya diiringi cuaca cerah. Alhamdulillah. Ini jantung kota Princeton. Nassau Street ini merupakan jalan utama Princeton. Legend sekaligus hits. Berbagai toko, perkantoran, sampai teater dan restoran ada. Sibuk deh pastinya. Jadi destinasi wisata sekaligus pusat aktivitas warga. So how you like teach in Princeton? Well, uh, I was finishing up my PhD at first, and my husband is a few years ahead of me, so he finished. He got a position there first, and then I applied and I started doing some teaching here as well. Um, and then when I finished my PhD, I had a postdoctoral fellowship at Stanford University for one year, and then after that, I got an offer to teach here. So, I think it's awesome. Yes. Sebelum kembali ke kampus, kita sempat cicip kopi yang cukup hits ini nih. Namanya Small World Coffee.
kedainya ramai. So, kita take away. Dan ini dia area perguruan tinggi yang menempati peringkat ke-8 sebagai perguruan tinggi paling tua di Amerika Serikat. Bergengsi pula di dunia. Princeton University and Spirit. Could you tell me more, ma'am, about your past experience as a mayor of sure. New Jersey? Absolutely. So I uh, was always interested in public service. I always wanted to do something to help my community. And I, you know, some elected officials, you like them, some you don't. And I realized that I didn't really like the local elected officials in my town. I didn't think that they were doing the right thing. And so someone actually asked me to run for local office and I thought I should give it a try because it is very important that we have people get involved and um, and it was it was a very difficult experience but it was also very rewarding because I could do things to serve my community and I think the outcome was really good we, we you know updated our municipal building I was the mayor when COVID came to the town and I could try to protect everyone No, it was it was very tough. It was very scary, um, but I truly believe that we did the best that we could, and uh, and I think that it made a difference. People felt connected. I think keeping people informed is really important, and that is what drove me during my time as mayor. Um, there certainly were challenges as well, but I'm glad that I could do. Definitely, I think there is. I think that there are the barriers are that our families, a lot of them, haven't had these roles before, so to them it's something new. And there's never been an Asian American woman in the assembly, and now there's three of us. So it, it's you know going in the right direction. And I think once you see someone like you, then you feel like it's more possible. So I do think that we're going to see a lot more engagement from Muslim women in the political system in the U.S. and just to your vision in politics and mm -hmm. in gender equality? Yes. Well, I think that what motivates me is always to have, uh, to build a more just society, to have more equality for, for women, for minorities. Um, and so that is one of the reasons why I ran, so that other people could see that this is possible. Because I learned that women win elections at the same rate as men, they just don't run as often. And so in order for us to have more seats, we have to run. And then students would literally kick me or spit at me. And then I moved to college. I went to college. And then after college, 9-11 took place. You know, after 9-11 that took place, now I was being chased down the street of New York City and being called a terrorist. 